Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and I want to introduce you to a new service available for your Ledger device called Ledger Sync. It's available from within Ledger Live. It's based on a technology called Ledger Ring Protocol. Ledger Ring Protocol is a way for your Ledger device to share and store cryptographic keys. Now this technology is going to make a whole bunch of other cool stuff available in the future. It's available for developers to create applications uh, like maybe uh, encrypted messaging. But right now Ledger Sync solves some uh, really inconvenient problems that have existed within Ledger Live across different devices and when installing Ledger Live on new devices. So I'm just going to give you a quick demo of some of these great new features that solve these problems that have kind of been vexing me over the last several years. And they're problems that I get a lot of questions about from my viewers. So let's take a look. All right, so here's the blog announcement post about Ledger Sync and Ledger Ring technology. So I'm going to include this in a link down in the description below so that you can check it out. But uh, the first thing I'll do is show you what the problem was. So right now I'm looking at my desktop based Ledger Live and I'm in the portfolio view, but you can also go into the accounts view and look at your accounts. And then if I have Ledger Live installed on my phone, you'll see that they're roughly equivalent, not quite, uh, but there, there might be some small discrepancies in some of the accounts that I've got. Uh, but if I were to add a new account in Ledger Live on my desktop, for example, if I went to accounts and went to add account, and created, say, a new Bitcoin account. Uh, I've got my Ledger Flex connected here. It wants me to open up the Bitcoin app on my device. All right, the Bitcoin app is gonna open up and it's going to search for any existing accounts. So generally when you do this, you're basically adding a, an empty account, right? And then you might wanna fund it after you've done that. Uh, but in my case, you can kind of ignore all these accounts that I've created over the years. But I do have one here, uh, which I'm going to add to my desktop-based Ledger Live. I'll hit Add Account. And so now you can see that I've added this new account on my desktop. And my portfolio balance has changed accordingly. But if we look at my phone-based version of Ledger Live, the two balances don't sync anymore. That's because that Bitcoin account that I just added is not in my Ledger Live on my phone. Uh, it doesn't automatically sync. I would have to go over to my phone and sync up my Flex with my phone and then add that account, right? In my case, I had an account with a balance, but in your case, you may have added a new crypto, an empty account, made a transfer from an exchange, uh, saw your balance increase, and then wonder why it wasn't happening on your phone. The same thing happens in the other direction. So if I were to add an account on my phone uh, and then fund it, then it wouldn't appear on my desktop until I went through the same process. Uh, it doesn't seem like a huge problem, but it's been pretty vexing for a lot of people over the years. They get really confused as to why their phone and their desktop versions of Ledger Live are not synced up. So, but Ledger has now solved that issue with Ledger Sync. So let's take a quick look. Uh, I want to go, and Ledger Sync is compatible with your uh, Flex and Stacks. There's a little workaround that we can use for older devices, uh, but I'm going to show you how it works on Stacks and Flex. So we'll just go into Settings, and then we'll go to Ledger Sync. Now, it's possible that when you launch your version of Ledger Live, it might just ask you when you launch it if you wish to enable Sync. But if it has not done that yet, you can go over to your General Settings and uh, click Manage. 
and we'll go ahead and turn on Ledger Sync. Uh, we'll hit Turn on Ledger Sync. It's going to check app dependencies. The first thing it'll ask is uh, allow the secure connection between your device and Ledger Live. We'll go ahead and click Allow. Now it's going to search for the Ledger Sync app on my device. If it doesn't find it, it's going to go ahead and install it. Uh, the Ledger Sync app is really what's doing all the work. Uh, it installs the Ledger Sync app on your device and then it asks you to open it up. All right, and then it asks me to connect to Ledger Sync and then turn on the sync. It's going to take all of my account information in Ledger Live and all of my settings and save them on my device in a safe and encrypted format. Now they have this option here to sync with another Ledger Live app and they give you a QR code and you can scan that with your phone if you want to do it uh, this way through QR codes. But you don't really need to do it if you're using a Stax or Flex. All we're going to have to do is connect our device to our phone. So I'll just go over uh, to the settings in my phone based Ledger Live. I go into General. And here's Ledger Sync in the phone based app. And I'll go ahead and turn it on. And down here at the bottom it says Use My Ledger Device. So I'll click Use Ledger Device. I'll choose my Flex, which is what I've got turned on right now. It's going to ask me to open the app because the app is already installed on my device. And then it asks me to connect and then turn on sync. It's basically doing the same thing. And the sync was successful. Let's hit close here. Now look at the balance, right? It is the same as my desktop. And if I go into Bitcoin, you can see that that other Bitcoin account, the Bitcoin Affiliate Flex account, has been added to my Ledger Live on my phone. Now, I want to point out that this is not occurring across the internet. So they could have solved this issue by creating a Ledger Live account that you signed into uh, with an email and a password uh, that was sort of cloud-based. But they didn't want to do it that way because that is not very private, right? You've got an online account that's based in the cloud. It could potentially be hacked uh, because it's an online database. So this method is much more secure and private because it's based on your device. Now, I'd like to also show you uh, some other problems that Ledger Sync can solve for us. Let's assume that you have Ledger Sync installed on your device and you've synced it up with your uh, all of your accounts in your desktop settings but you have a brand new computer and you've just installed Ledger Live. So let's take a look at uh, what happens the first time we launch Ledger Live. Right, it's basically going to look like this. So we'll choose Get Started. Uh, I'll refuse the data. We'll say this is Flex. It wants to connect to my Flex. I've got my Flex connected and unlocked. We can skip installing the apps right now. All right, we can skip all of this. So now let's go up here into the settings and let's turn on Ledger Sync. So we'll click Manage. Let's say uh, turn on Ledger Sync. It asks me to open the app on my device. It asks me to connect. I'll go ahead and turn on the sync. All righty, it says the sync was successful. I'll hit Close here. Go to Portfolio, and lo and behold, all of the accounts that were in there before have now repopulated. Like, I can go over here. And what's really interesting about this is that I'm managing more than one device in my Ledger Live. All right, I have some accounts that are uh, associated with my Stacks and some that are associated with my Flex. But the data that was stored in my Ledger Sync app contained all of my desktop account information. So all I had to do was connect 
the device that had the Ledger Sync app on there and the uh, accounts for all of my devices repopulated. But that's really cool because a lot of people are managing more than one device in their Ledger Live. And so in order to save all of this information, all you have to do is use the Ledger Sync. It will install the Ledger Sync app on your device, and then uh, you'll be able to repopulate the accounts across any of the devices that you're using or uh, repopulate accounts on a brand new device that has no account information. So this solves quite a few of the minor inconveniences that I have experienced before in Ledger Live. I've done quite a few videos where I've explained these situations to people and, and gave solutions to these issues. I just recently did how to install Ledger Live on a new computer and had to go through the step of uh, adding the accounts manually. Uh, we don't have to do that anymore. We've got Ledger Sync now, uh, so it makes it really easy to save all of our account information on our device safely and securely in an encrypted format and then migrate that account information to any of our other devices safely, securely, and privately without having to store that information in the cloud. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.